In a previous video, in fact in many, I've used interface names like EN01, ENS2, EMP3, S0F1, ETH1, WLAN1 and BR0. But what are they and what do they mean? They're interface names and they're human friendly-ish way to define which physical or virtual interface you want to work with. But there is some confusion between ETH, ENO, ENS and EMP conventions. They're all still in use. But System D changed the predictable names ENO, ENS, and EMP by default in version 197, and you can turn them off. The idea is that you can predict how an interface will be named. The ENO and ENS are defined by the system board or firmware. They are for the onboard or slot interfaces, but not the PCIe slots. And then there's EMP, which is for the PCIe slots. However, the ENO and ENS may actually be connected by a PCIe bus, so predictable but also confusing. With EMP, it's then the PCIe bus ID, then S number, and then F number. The S and the F are slot and function. PCIe is a point-to-point -point bus, but the naming convention allows for older PCIe buses using the S number. Hence the PCIe device in my list are all S0 as their PCIe. The F is the function. Some cards have multiple functions like multiple interface ports. F0 and F1 in my example are ports 1 and 2 of the device. So with that explained, you can see why it generates predictable names. Except it doesn't. The issue I have is that removing a PCIe device that has a switch on it, like the 4 port 1 gig Intel cards I have here, changes the PCIe numbering, so it's kind of predictable, but not 100%. An LS Topo and predictable naming show the devices differently, LS Topo being the PCIe ID in hex and predictable naming using standard base 10. So a PCIe device 0D001 would be EMP13S0F1. Hope this helps clear up some confusion.